Okay, another installment in my drive to replace the lighting in my barn with uh, LEDs. This is another eBay shipment. I have bought a 35 watt, which wasn't really adequate. I bought a 100, which is almost too much and too directional. And I've given that 100 to my brother to experiment with at his church. And I bought two 50s from a different vendor. I'll have to find the vendor and put a screenshot of that in this video. It shipped from CPX, Rosemead, California. Of course, it's a Chinese vendor. This one actually comes with a uh, little mini instruction manual which covers all their products. Tech box. Lead floodlight. Lead floodlight. Because I gotta flip it over and get the English here. Tech box. Lead fl floodlight introduction. So it gives some uh, information here. Someone asked about the candle power in the last one. I wonder if I could find that here. Wavelength. Oh, of course, they give all the different models. I have to look at my model. And again, they're about the same size as the 100 watters. And it's a different vendor, but probably the same manufacturer. It's got a very similar look to the housing. At least this part does. Tech box. T50 watt. AC from 85 to 265 volts. 50 to 60 hertz. Output 50 watts. Color temperature white. This is supposed to be daylight white, by the way. And they get the dimensions here in metric. Weight is uh, 2.08 kilograms. And they say it could be used for garden, grounds, front, backyards, landscape. Hotels, etc. I'm going to be using it for uh, my barn lighting to replace my fluorescence. And I've fired this up already, and it does seem to do what I want. The other one for two directional. This seems to be a little less directional, which is a good thing for me. You see, they're fairly big. I could be a little heavier. And I went to the hardware store and bought some large hardware, a two inch, half inch thick lag bolt. I'm going to drill a hole in my two by fours, bolt this sucker right into them. I went so heavy because I'm just going to use one bolt and do something like this. Lag it right into the ceiling. That way I'll be able to rotate them, hopefully 90 degrees. I wish they'd give you a little longer pigtail on these. That's going to be the limiting factor. Once I put it right near the pivot, I'll be able to get that 90 degree pivot I want to get. This is the existing lighting in my barn. It's 30 degrees. I've got a considerable amount of light leaking through my damaged uh, fascias. That's another issue. Here is my fluorescence. And you can see they're kind of flickery. They're going to take quite a while to get to full brightness. As it gets colder, the performance gets even worse. Like I said, it's about 32 degrees out right now. So they're starting pretty well. They're not doing too badly. In about 20 minutes, they'll be a lot brighter. Right now, it's not all that bright in here. I wouldn't try to do uh, work on the saw or anything with this brightness. 
level. So here's the detail of how I'm mounting these. I've got a strain relief here so I can't pull the wire and pull on the connections. Used a box. And I can rotate this if I were desire. You know, within a 90 degree radius. I can also tilt it. I think I'm going to leave them like this though. So there's two 50 watt fixtures, LED fixtures, versus about 100 and almost 140 watts fluorescent here. I'll show them one at a time so you can contrast them. 130 uh, watt alone. And I'll shut that off. Looks like a light leak in the barn here. Should try this again at night, maybe. And there's the uh, 100 watts of LED lighting alone. Pretty good. So I do have a 30 watt fixture. It's my original foray into this experiment. You can see even though I bought it from a different vendor and it's got a different name stamped in the back so it's got almost the exact same type of housing and this little tin box in back is about the exact same thing. The brackets are very similar so they probably come out of the same factory more or less. I'm gonna put that up as an experiment just to see how if that helps fill in this uh, Actually, they're filling in pretty well, though. They're, so what my experiment was was to see how these would do as far as spreading light around on the floors and stuff. The 100 seemed almost too directional. And here we are with the 30-watt fixture put in the middle. Uh, it's just clamped up there for temporary. Also, these 50-watt units have quite a delay. Um, the 100 watt had about a second delay. I demonstrated that on my 100 watt demo. But I'm going to turn the uh, 50 watters on right now. Nope, oh, wrong one. <laughs> That's the uh, fluorescent. I'm going to turn the 50 watters on right now. You see, the 30 water came on instantly almost. The 50 watters took almost two seconds to come on. And they come on exactly the same time. Kind of neat, interesting, but at least they're pretty much at full brightness right when they come on, unlike the fluorescents. One, two, three. Interesting little delay there. On. So the little 30 watt fixture is almost instantaneous. But the 100 watt fixture had about a second delay. These 50 watters have almost a two second delay, I'd say. Maybe not quite. That's probably more like a second. And then while I'm crouched down here, let's turn the fluorescent on, just for contrast. It's really pretty much equivalent amount of light. The fluorescent isn't full of brightness yet, and it will be in about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Which is why I'm doing this. Just too annoying to wait for these guys in the winter if they even come on when it's really cold. So, this is my project for now. I'm going to leave it as it is for the winter. Let's see how they do. If all goes well, I'm going to probably uh, do the other two switches too. Another. Uh, I got that 100 water to go over the bench and probably 50 in the back corner and probably two 50s in here somewhere. And go all LED. And eventually I'd like to uh, use these 50 waters outdoors too for my PIR lights, my motion activated lights. 
eventually change them out too. Right now I'm running a Power 38 bulb type fixtures and I got fluorescent bulb in one side of the fixture and then the other side I got a conventional bulb, a halogen. So I got the instant brightness and then a little more efficiency. But I'd like to switch those to uh, LED as well. It's nice. So it's one third of my lighting and it pretty much almost does the whole garage. You know, I definitely could use another two bars of them. But that's a lot of light.